Hello and welcome, folks. I'm back. Uh, I have just gotten back my body. And I'm gonna continue going to this, uh, to this direction. To the right. Okay. Haha! <laughs> now I just have to run. It may be worth it to fight this guy one day. Maybe. But I'm betting, uh... You know what, he's probably not all that hard, but I may also just not have a choice but to face him! But to face him... Oh god. I'm, I'm making a run for it. Oh, that was a bad run! <laughs> so, okay, fine. Oh, this is a bad place. Okay, well... See, I was saying, it would probably not be so bad to fight this guy. But, uh, yeah, maybe so too, I guess. <laughs> luckily they put me... Uh, luckily they put me in a pretty decent spot. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <sighs> oh, just... Oh man, I thought I had one more health. Shit. There really needs to be maybe another one of those stupid... Oh, one of those benches. I mean, I'm approaching one of those benches. Shit. Okay, well, the headphones are just playing off right now. I, I don't want to... I don't know. I don't even want to bother with the infernal buzzing of these maybe, maybe really cute bees or whatever. You know, really, speaking honestly, regular old, uh, genuine honeybees are actually really cute. They're fuzzy in kind of a huggable way. You know, real life. We're speaking about real life here, right? If, uh, if, if a bee did not have that damn buzzing that would repel me so easily, I might actually want to hug a bee. It, well, I, in whatever capacity hugging might be, I mean, it might just actually be kind of a very soft pinch on my part, but it would be a whole body kind of hug for them, for the, for Mr. or Mrs. B. Probably Mr. because the Mrs. is actually the queen and there aren't so many of them. Um, anyhow, welcome back. I guess. <laughs> welcome to my corpse run. Uh, I was uh, kind of hoping that that thing was going to go a whole lot better, you know, and I... But then again, I also didn't know that I was just going to have to face some of those giant, weird, bouncing... How do you describe them? I mean, uh, just bouncy giant enemies, I guess. I don't know. They're... They're so simple. But it's their relentlessness, I, get, I think, that is that makes them so... so harsh. Also, their resilience to damage, I mean... I mean, I'm hitting him a bunch of times. And, uh, yeah, to kind of little result. Okay. Nope. These guys are a little tougher. And it seems like the pushback didn't seem to be all that, you know, all that big a deal, all that helpful. Pay attention. Oh, nah, I was saying, hey, pay attention. But no, let's not pay attention. Of course not. This would be a great time to heal and use some of that soul power I got. Okay. So, body should be... Where's body? Okay, no, I'm, I'm making a bit of a run for it. Where'd you go? Hey. It's kind of a jerk move, buddy, don't you find? Huh. Maybe I should make a run for it. But you know, at some point, at, as soon as, like, mark me, as soon as we find my body. Man. As soon as I find my body, I'm gonna have to face both my body and uh, whatever that thing is called. And I kind of don't want to do that, because that's a lot at once. 
Okay, let me heal again. Oh, I missed my... Hmm, strange. Okay, let's hope there's no respawn. Is that a bug, I wonder? Should my body be... Right on top of me? Could that be a bug? Please not be a bug. Maybe I just need to leave the screen and come back. Hmm. Oh, there you are! Why is... Okay, anyway. Hi. Oh. So, alright, that's kind of neat. This thing has the abilities that I also have. So wait, there was one of those big bouncy dudes on the other side over here that that totally killed me. But that was before I died. And now it's not coming back. Does that mean that it's not respawning? Because if I can kill this guy and not ever have to worry about him again? I mean, that doesn't sound right because I had to kill that second one. Well, no, I ran away from that. Sorry, the, the first one I meant. Hmm. I'm a little... Okay, wait. I'm a little intrigued by this. I just noticed that the Great Hopper has kind of gimp wings. Leaps around the edge of the world trying to crush prey beneath its body. And you have a sharp proboscis to drain vital fluids. Hmm. Intrigued. Oh, hey. Okay. Hey, you wanna you wanna come over here? It's super risky. Hey, think of the reward, buddy. Hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. Hey, hey, buddy. Think of the reward. You can kill me. Hey, hey. I mean, I know. I see you're into jumping. I'm not gonna ask you to jump much like I asked the other guys to jump, because they they jumped and then they died right away. Hi. Whoops. Ah, that's fine. Okay. We're still making progress towards the right. And perhaps we have made it. Yay, we made it to the bend. Yeah, awesome. Okay. I'm going to put my headphones back on just in case. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I can hear what's going on now. There's music. There's music. Yeah. Okay, what's in here? You're loading. Oh, another nail master? Hello. <laughs> nail master Oro. Hmm. How did you find me down here where the world ends? Yes, I know why you're here. You came to learn a nail art from the legendary nail master Oro. It's the law of the great nail sage that I must pass down my teachings to those who are worthy. But no law forbids me from exacting a payment for my time. If you truly wish to train under me, prove it with Geo. 800 bucks for a nail art that I may or may not ever use? Ah, uh, why not? Gasso! And just like that, the dash slash, hold X, to concentrate energy into the nail, release the button while dashing to perform the dash slash. Hello, Summit. You, I must say, are an excellent pupil. Your skill with the nail and your thirst to become stronger. You remind me of my brothers. I have taught you all I can. Go back into the world, Traveler, and leave me to my solitude. K. Bam. Bow. Finn. I'm gonna break that. And I'm out. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> I'll pay you 800 bucks. Okay, thanks. Teach me a thing. Thank you very much. And then I'm gonna just take your bookshelf and just fucking topple it. Why not? Hang on. There's something over here. Do you talk? You look like you could be animated. Hi. What's up? Stronger Brothers. Oh, yeah? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll take it. Yeah. Alright, sure. Let's do the dumb thing. Why not? 
Maybe it's the smart thing. I don't know. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, sure, actually, yes. We'll do this as many times as necessary, man. There is a child Hang on I saw this once It could- it could happen a second time? No? Hang on I may be wrong about this But there could be a baby inside this wall Man, I love being able to say weird things like that in video games. Okay, so before I before I keep going here. Okay. Oh yeah. That's not a bad ability. It's got a pretty good amount of range to it. But anyway, where the hell am I? I'm all the way over here. I should have probably healed first. Oh, actually, that's pretty damn good. Yeah. Uh huh. Seems like that's the strategy with these guys. Hit and then get away. Wow! Whoa! Okay, let's try to think now. <laughs> it's kind of a good thing once in a while, all right, that the game just forces... Mm, forces you to react. What? This is a place I can enter? I guess? Should I? I'm not that far away from the bench. I guess. Okay, before I do that again... I'm, I'm intrigued by that one time that I found a wall. Yeah, that... Okay, I can't seem to do anything here. Alright, so there doesn't seem to be any secrets. Okay. Not that I can immediately tell in any case. Fine. Fine. Okay. So far, so good. Wow! There has got to be a secret somewhere in here. Something about the fungal f thing is over here. Yes, sir. I can't seem to do anything with it. Wait, can I? Nope. Yeah. Intriguing, though. Hmm. Whoop. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, none of this is really standing out to me as being... Like, usually you can tell, right? That some part of it is cracked or whatever? No, doesn't look like that. Maybe there's something in the fungal grove that I should go try to discover that might relate to that thing that I can't seem to do anything with right now. Uh-huh. Okay. These guys are, I will say, amazing for being for allowing me to heal. Because hitting them four times gives me a pretty significant amount of uh, mana. Ooh. We're going deep into the world, man. Man. I don't know how comfortable I am doing this. Ah, let's be let's be real. I'm pretty comfortable. Something's gonna scare me down here, I bet ya. 
We're going real deep. Oh, wow. Hello. Oh, is this? Oh, my. Uh. Is this just uh, the mother load of money here? Wow, okay. Cool, I'm just gonna keep getting money then, I guess. I'm gonna maybe collect some of this money before I experience slowdown. Because you never... Ah, okay. So it's not infinite money. Well, probably for the best. Wow, okay. All that depth for money. I don't know how I feel about that. Money is definitely important in this game, alright? Let's be clear, but... I don't know, going... I don't know, going deep someplace is symbolic. I... I... I would sooner leave that to... I don't know, something a little different? Hmm. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, I would, uh, I would sooner leave a great depth as an indicator of something important down, like, you know, like, like the White Palace, for example, or something story-related, you know, because it's, like I said, it's symbolic. It's a big deal to go deep. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this episode has gone on a little bit long. I, uh, I'm kind of sorry. Wait a minute. This is probably a trap. Let's find out. No, it isn't. How nice. Okay, good. So, all right. Uh, thank you for joining me in the next episode. I'm gonna, I, I guess, keep exploring this area. I'm gonna see if I can't find <clears throat> maybe the boss of this zone. Because, I mean, this seems like a fairly important spot. I mean, all the spots are important, really. But, you know, while I'm here, fuck it. I'm... All right, so all of that that I just said right now about this being important, completely useless. I'm just going to keep exploring this area because I'm here, okay? So, anyway, join me then. See you soon.